I've always been a strong human being to this point, 34 years old. I'm a big man, obviously, and so I shouldn't be weak, and I never have been weak, but I've always been an emotional person. Mm -hmm. And this has been unlike anything I've ever had to deal with in my life. I've been through a lot, but I've never been through anything as tough as this. Do you love your wife? I love her more than anything. How do you? More than anything. How do you want her to feel? I want her to feel like a wife should, like a woman should, somebody that's happy and not having to worry about things. And how do you feel when you hear him say that? It, it tears me up. It tears me up. I know he wants these things, but he's, he's just suffering so hard and he's just afraid to come <clears throat> out of that shell. I think that half of the solution to any problem lies in defining the problem. Now, you know that physically, you know plumbing-wise, physically, that things work fine. Yes. So do you acknowledge that there is a psychological barrier that's keeping you from feeling comfortable in, in performing sexually? Absolutely. Okay. And what do you think the origin of that is? I can't put my finger on anything specific other than what we've been through when we went through the abortion. Uh, we, we weren't together very long when we had to deal with that. And we were on a, about a five-month high when we first met. And then when that happened, it like went from 150% to zero. I mean, it was just like the walls just completely caved in on me. Well, yeah. isn't it true that in, in looking back at that time, that both of y'all just absolutely feel terrible about that decision and about having gone through the termination of that pregnancy? Absolutely. Yes. I mean, if you had it to do over again, <laughs> you wouldn't do it, would you? No. You wouldn't do it? You wouldn't do it. We wouldn't be here. <laughs> That's right. So, I, I, to me, I, I think it's, it's real clear that you guys had a sexual relationship. You got pregnant. You got pregnant. You didn't get pregnant. You didn't get her pregnant. The two of you got pregnant. But in everything I read here, all the writings from you and all the writings from you is that you made the decision to have the abortion. True? Yes. And you've been very angry with him about that decision. In the beginning, I was very angry. Yeah. And this is some of the confusion that I have because the two of you got pregnant. The two of you went the route that you did with having the abortion, and don't both of you have to own that decision? Yes, I feel we, we both own that decision, but he has taken it so personal on himself. Well, you helped him in the beginning take it personal, didn't you? Yes, I did. Because didn't you have a lot of anger? Didn't you make a lot of accusations? Didn't you point the finger, damn you, you made me do this? Yes. So, I mean, there's no big puzzle or mystery why he would take that guilt on initially. Now, I understand that that isn't where you are today. But, and I'm not even criticizing you from being, for being there before, but is it any wonder that you felt tremendous guilt and shame and pain over the decision and seeing the pain that it caused in Michelle? It's an awful lot of weight to carry. An awful lot of weight to carry. And you're still carrying it today. I still carry it today. And yeah. what do you say to yourself about that? I blame myself for that decision because if I would have made the other decision not to terminate, I don't feel like, I don't feel like we'd be here. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.